through Mr. St. Pembroke. Speaker, my speaker is to the Deputy Premier. Ontarians are now being bombarded with a new ad campaign promoting the Liberals' latest energy price shell game. One shell game ends, a new one begins. The Ontario Electricity Support Program is just the most recent version of diversion and confusion when it comes to energy pricing. It is nothing more than rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. It pits one energy poor family against another energy poor family, and the Liberals draw the battle line. Speaker, the minister must realize that every and the deputy premier must realize that every Ontario family needs hydro relief, real hydro relief, not another Liberal shell game. Relief that can only come from a shift in policy direction, the wrong direction that this government is on. Will the Deputy Premier stand in her place and announce a real policy change that will bring real Question. relief to Ontario families? Thank you. Deputy Premier. Well, Speaker, um, I'm, I'm a bit surprised that the member opposite isn't actually standing up and saying, I'm really happy to see the debt retirement charge go, Speaker, because this will be. Uh, off the hydro bills two years earlier than planned, saving families $70 a year. Speaker. Uh, in addition, we are focusing on the same people that you have brought up in question period, or your party has brought up in question period, those who really are burdened by high electricity bills. Speaker. We know that the lower the income, the higher uh, the response, the the higher the burden of that of that bill, and as I said earlier, I really genuinely hope, politics aside, that everyone in this legislature takes the time to make sure their constituents know about the new Ontario Electricity Support Program. Speaker, yes, it is a significant reduction in hydro bills. It is focused on people who have the lowest and moderate income. Speaker, Thank you. it is important that all members. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, they love to talk about a cornucopia of programs, none of which would be needing to exist if they had a proper energy policy. This is just another classic play from the Liberal governing handbook. And now it's a redistribution program so that the minister and the premier can have some nice photo ops. But then when you examine the details, it is nothing more than another shell game. Because of the sliding scale of the OESP, many families who need relief will simply not get it. But more importantly is the point that the $30 stipend from the OSP is nothing compared to the hundreds and hundreds of dollars that this government has added to those same people's hydro bills over the years, and the hundreds more that you're going to add each and every year over the next decade. Will the Premier just simply admit that the Ontario, the Ontario Electricity Support Program is more about photo ops and expensive ad campaigns than actually helping low-income electricity consumers? Thank you. Well, Speaker, you know, maybe the member opposite can sniff at $500 a year relief for Ontario families, Speaker, but that's a meaningful uh, that's a meaningful difference for Ontarians. You know, I found it very intriguing during the last federal election campaign when the Prime Minister and the Minister of uh, of the Environment touted Canada's progress on reducing greenhouse gases by citing the changes we made in Ontario on shutting down those coal-fired plants. We're proud of the decisions that we made to reduce greenhouse gases. We're proud of the decisions we made to uh, improve the quality of our, our air, Speaker. We're proud of the decisions we made to build a reliable energy system. We all remember what it was like under their watch. It's not time to go back, Speaker. We've made investments. Yes, we don't need more blackouts. We've got the kind of electricity system up here. Thank you. 